Hello everyone, Big Jim here. Over the weekend, I decided to uh, build a, what I would call a, uh, a hitch attachment for my skid loader. I, uh, a friend of mine gave me some scrap flat metal and I worked on it all this weekend and I've got it finished and this is, this is what it looks like. It, uh, when I built it, I built it on the machine itself. That's that's one suggestion I've got for anybody that wants to do that. Take that flat plate and you just clamp it to your uh, attachment hookups on the skid loader and start building from there. It's definitely not perfect, but it's built heavy enough. And uh, you just gotta, just gotta watch. Like this area right here was too wide. Of metal so I had to cut that all back and groove it to fit the boom but that's a six inch receiver and the four inch hitch which that's the only new stuff on here everything you see on here is recycled uh, metal I had metal a friend gave me when I got the metal it was the flat plate plus this arm that stuck out what they had been using it for was a uh, grinding stand and there was a mount on the top of this anyway once i got it mounted up there it uh i figured out well i got to do a lot of cutting to make it match and i kind of went off of how the uh stump bucket grapple was built or how the hookup was and, and on my bucket uh, it just took a little time i ended up thinking it turned out pretty good really and it's going to do quite well for me the cheapest i could find one already made without the hitch itself was 350 bucks and i don't have nothing near that in here uh the six inch piece receiver was 27 dollars at the local farm and home and of course my metal my metal and all my wire that i used to weld it but uh we're going to try it out i'm going to set up here and uh hopefully we can get an idea how this thing works let me get situated i've got a trailer down and to the right of the red ford pickup and that's what i'm going to try to pick up That's not a real heavy trailer. It, uh, 
it definitely works i mean it's it's definitely easy to hook up to it's pulls real nice it's a little jerky you got to think backwards as you're driving because you're going backwards so what i'm going to do is take it up the hill and i'm going to put it in a slot back up there where i've been storing it earlier so like i always say outdoors is where the fun begins so get out when you can even if it's in a shop get out and do something thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and i'm going to try to be putting more videos out of different things here in the future see you on the next one